All right, Alex, let me tell you something. What was it, like 500 executive orders or something like that Obama signed? I can't remember. It was an astronomical amount. Basically, he was a dictator. He just signed everything into law. All right. President Trump could sign an executive order to build a wall. Okay. Well, of course, I've given him other ideas, like you give everybody in the country amnesty and you put the military on the border because you're about to be flooded as soon as you do that. But if you're here, you go get amnesty, right, and you get your little card. And after that, if you don't have one of those cards, well, you're not going to have amnesty. But you still want to put the border, on, the military on the border to protect it as you build the wall. But here's what's going to happen when you offer that to the Democrats there, Alex. And I've gave this idea to President Trump, and he hasn't done it. You offer amnesty for everybody, and you explain to the rednecks, look, they're already here. They're not going anywhere, okay? The, the illegal immigrants that are here aren't ever going to go anywhere, rednecks. I'm here telling you, as your president, you're going to have to live with these people one way or the other. But what we want to do, rednecks, is we want to build a wall to prevent more of them from coming in here, right? Right? Y'all can all get on the same page with me, right? There, rednecks. You should. We're just going to give them amnesty, and that way they can start paying taxes. And guess what? Mexico paid for the wall as soon as they start paying taxes, right? Yeah. Has he done that? Has he, but the, the beauty of this, Alex, the beauty of it is when he offers amnesty, the Democrats are still going to decline it because they don't want to build a wall. Their idea is to clergy plan all these people in here until we have Asian Negroids. Okay, this is a fact. President Trump could have done that a long time time ago offered amnesty for all the illegal immigrants that are already here are never going to go anywhere. You offer them amnesty to the Democrats who are going to decline. They will decline that deal and when they decline it, it's going to run them. All of their constituents are going to go, oh my God, I can't believe you were going to give all of these people amnesty. I don't care how they spin it, okay? <laughs> 50 million people amnesty that can start paying taxes. You tell the, the Democratic constituents that you're going to give all of these people amnesty, but you're going to build a wall. They're soft hearts. They're ble Oh, we want that. We want that. And then you're going to get a wall. But the thing is, the Democrats are, are going to show their cards right then, right? All of those people that they brought to America to vote for them after President Trump offers amnesty for all of the Mexicans are going to remember that the Democrats told them that they couldn't have amnesty for a wall. They will all remember that. All of those votes that you have here in America that were going to vote Democratic all of a sudden, or that were going to vote Democratic, or all of a sudden going to vote Republican. Guess why? Because they were just offered amnesty by the Republicans to build a wall. Right? Now, why on God's green earth, with anybody with any brains in their head, after I've given this information in that playbook to President Trump, he get, he's connected to me. I'm telling you, me and him are connected. We've got the same technology in us. Okay, it's kind of like the Russian submarine the other day after I said we need to meet in Russia, I mean in uh, the ocean to have a private conversation there, Alex. And then the Russian submarine, fake fucking news. I'm connected to President Trump. Somehow we're connected to Russia, okay? I, I, apparently, I don't know how that's possible, all right? Other than they're sexually transmitted, okay? I have Lockheed Martin technology in me as well. It's the Mick Dick. It's brain and frickin' snowball, but Pinky was Lockheed Martin. The genius, one is a genius, the other's insane. Listen to what I'm telling you right here, Alex. Listen to me. If you offer... All of the Mexicans that are in this country amnesty to build a wall. And the Democrats decline that offer. All 50 million of those votes will never vote Democratic. They will vote Republican. Because they're going to remember that the Democrats were the ones that denied them amnesty. Now why on God's green earth, Alex, hasn't President Trump pulled that one out of his pocket? Because he's a fucking fraud. Okay? He is a Democrat, Alex. Yeah, wake up and smell the fucking coffee there, Alex. Smell it. Wake up. President Trump is NWO. He is elite. He is a fraud.
He's driven by globalist technology who set all of this up, okay? The Democrats are running trash right now because they want President Trump to get elected because he's doing all their bidding for them in this upside-down, tipsy-turvy fucking world we're living in these days that's driven by artificial intelligence. And the only way you can win is to just absolutely be a fraud, okay? Literally. President Trump was put into office by the left there, Alex. All right? Now, I've given him several, I mean, sign an executive order and build a wall. Go down there with some mortars and bomb somebody's house, tell the military to do that, right? And then declare war on the cartels like that playbook, that other playbook. There's a hundred freaking million ways he could have built a wall already, all right? He's a fraud, Alex. And that play that I just told you, where you offer it knowing that the Democrats are going to decline it so they could lose those 50 million votes in the future, is <laughs> how do you not pull that one out of your hat already, right? Especially coming into this next election, right? Just think about that, Alex. Think about it. 